What began in the 1950s as an exploration of the possible by a team of dreamers remains today a hallmark of inspired design and demonstrated engineering. Harnessing the power of liquid hydrogen to launch payloads to space, both far and near, the Centaur is the benchmark by which all others are measured. General Dynamics and NASA partnered to develop Centaur in the height of the space race. The high energy combination of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen could provide the energy needed to propel larger missions to the moon and beyond. Using an innovative approach, the team designed a tank with propellant compartments separated by a double walled bulkhead, which also serves as a heat barrier to reduce the boil off of the much colder liquid hydrogen. The tank is constructed of paper thin stainless steel which when pressurized, becomes a lightweight and high load capacity structure. Centaur is powered by the RL-10 engine in either a single or dual engine configuration. Though an enduring component of the Atlas rocket, Centaur variants have boosted missions such as Cassini on Titan and were being developed to support space shuttle missions prior to the Challenger tragedy. Over more than 200 launches, Centaur has sent spacecraft to nearly every planet in our solar system, as well as delivering vital commercial and national security payloads. Centaur has also played key roles in the missions themselves, such as NASA's recent LRO LaCrosse mission. Centaur completed its flight by impacting the moon, while the LaCrosse satellite photographed its debris cloud, searching for indications that water is present in the lunar regolith. And Centaur has set records. NASA's New Horizons, one of the fastest objects to ever leave Earth's orbit, is nearing the end of its nine-year journey to explore Pluto and begin humanity's first ever tour of the Kuiper Belt. More than 50 years after its first launch, Centaur continues to be an exploration into the possible to meet customer requirements for reduced cost and enhanced capabilities. In 2012, United Launch Alliance, in partnership with the National Reconnaissance Office, developed the aft bulkhead carrier to launch auxiliary payloads mounted to the Centaur. These ride-share missions provide lower-cost launch opportunities for universities and other agencies. In 2014, Centaur will fly the new RL-10C engine, providing a common engine with the Delta launch vehicle while improving performance. Hydrogen-oxygen-powered thrusters will consume residual propellants starting in 2015, enhancing Centaur's ability to comply with orbital debris mitigation efforts. As early as 2016, Centaur in the dual-engine configuration will be human-rated to support the delivery of NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. ULA has also teamed with x to develop new hydrogen-oxygen engine options that offer performance at a lower cost. The Advanced Common Evolve Stage, or ASIS, is a next-generation Centaur being developed to support multiple objectives, including 50% payload growth. To enable unparalleled mission flexibility, ASIS incorporates the Integrated Vehicle Fluids, or IVF, system replacing the existing hydrazine, helium, and battery systems. Fueled by hydrogen, IVF will stretch mission capability from hours to weeks. In partnership with NASA, ULA is also demonstrating the technologies required to store the super cold liquid hydrogen and oxygen for weeks in space. Very demanding missions are enabled by combining two launches with on-orbit refueling to deliver over twice the payload to geosynchronous orbit and beyond. Further enhancing ACES with a lunar mission kit can enable delivery of very large payloads directly to the lunar surface. 50 years after its first flight, Centaur continues to deliver the highest mass fraction of any cryogenic upper stage. And lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. See concludes to the planetary puzzle life on Mars. From vision to visionary, from impossible to possible, Centaur truly embodies the power and spirit of its mythological name. The conduct of exploration and in-space operation was 
is and will continue to be enabled as Centaur continues to evolve.